Hey, does this ever happen to you? You have a wonderful idea or you decide to take something on or fulfill on one of your dreams and you're starting and you start and then halfway into it or at some point into it, you're stopped and you feel like, what the heck am I doing? I can tell you that it's been happening to me and it's happened to me while I've been here. I'm in this amazing place. I'm fulfilling on the dreams that I've uh, created for myself a long time ago. And still that inner villain always seems to find a way to creep in. So how do we battle self-doubt? How do you look at that inter inner villain and smash him or her? I think there's a couple of things that will bring out the in inner villain in your life and one of them is probably outside influences so things like maybe the news um, when I started selling real estate I remember I got some advice from a, um, a, a lady who was doing really really well at a conference that I had just attended in the first few months and uh, I asked her if she could give me one piece of advice so that I could succeed as a realtor in this industry what would it be and she said don't watch the news so I actually took that to heart and I was actually happy because I'm not a fan of the news. But um, the negativity that you see and uh, will sometimes influence you and lead you to believe things that, you know, maybe are not all completely true. Another thing that uh, is an outside influence is your environment. Your environment could be the people that are um, around you or the, or the uh, circles that you uh, are in things like a pandemic, you know, uh, the environment that you live in, the economy, the market uh, of whatever industry that you're in. When things are in a downswing, if you're influenced by that, it may affect your performance. Again, um, my first year or second year in real estate, there was a little bit of a lull in the market and Thank God that Tracy told me not to watch the news because I remember that year I uh, was, I think, the second or third place realtor in my office. And uh, somebody said to me, how are you doing so many deals when we're in an economic uh, down t downswing? And uh, I said, well, I didn't know that. I don't watch the news. So that environment. I didn't buy into and as a result I had completely different results. If something affects or, or paralyzes your confidence, get rid of it. If the news is paralyzing your confidence, get rid of it. If l listening to statistics is um, that are you know negative are affecting your confidence or paralyzing you, then just get rid of it. It's not a flippant way to live your life, but if you're trying to achieve and you're trying to produce results and that thing is in your way, then just get it out of the way. Another thing that's a horrible outside influence or can be is people. Um, look in your life and think who's a battery drainer. You can't take yourself to full, your full potential with people that are sucking your energy. So I've done this often. I made a list of people who suck my energy and then find ways to either slowly or maybe quickly get them out of my life. Uh, there are people that sink you, people that float you, and people that propel you. And you want to really be around the people in your life that propel you. So as you're looking at the battery drainers, look at the people that are the rocket fuel and really link arms with those people. Um, another thing that will bring out the inner villain uh, is confidence killers. So one of the things that comes to mind when I talk about this is as young children, we're taught to focus on the things that we don't know and uh, are our weaknesses and learn and get better at our weaknesses. But I actually don't believe that. I think that robs you of your confidence when you're focusing on the things that you're not good at. All of us have things that we're amazing at, things that we're extraordinarily good at. What are you extraordinarily good at? Work on that, work on your strengths. The stuff that you can't do, hire people to do. It's uh, a much more positive way to be living your life when you know that you're bringing out the best of yourself and you're you know, probably subconsciously uh, allowing people to do the same or giving them per permission to do the same. Another thing that brings out the confidence killer, and this is a big one for me, is taking bad advice. Um, I'm somebody who, or I was somebody who 
looked to other people. I'm very fortunate to have a lot of people in my life that are mentors, people that I can trust, people that I can count on, people that know me. And uh, oftentimes I'll go to those people and I'll ask them for their advice. On the same token, there's people that I would I maybe don't have a lot of respect for or at least not the way they make decisions or I know that they're really not good at something so sometimes I'll even go to those people and ask them what they would do and then don't do that so um, you don't take relationship advice from single people you don't take financial advice from people who don't have money so maybe not even taking advice at all is something that I've really been uh, looking at since I've been here, how much I'm influenced by the advice that people give me and how much I seek uh, other people's input in order to make decisions for myself. What I've decided now is that I'm gonna formulate my own thoughts. Most of the time, the thoughts that we have are not even our thoughts, they're other people's. I've said that before. Um, formulating your own thoughts is really how you get to the answer at the end of the day you reflect on what's important to you you reflect on what your dreams are why you're doing things in the first place your why and i know for me as i've been going through that this past week that's really had me reignite my passion reignite my desire and regain confidence in myself smashing the inner villain and bringing out the inner hero. So find a way not to let negativity seep into your soul. Remember that people that have big lives have big problems. Couch potatoes don't have problems. Well, not until the batteries run out on the remote control and then they have problems too. But if you're gonna step into a big life, be ready for big problems and understand that challenges are gifts. Sometimes they're your prayers answered. That's what problems are. They're opportunities to get to know yourself. The inner villain feeds on negativity and creates the story of why things won't work. Anytime you hear yourself saying, but I want to do this, but that but is just a story. So we all have big butts sometimes and nobody likes big butts. So here's my message today. You change your story you change your life and that inner villain you turn him into a hero and you pull that person out that's how you smash the self-doubt and win the battle